Welcome back to Motorblade everyone. My bike is finally out of the garage. It wasn't at an Indian dealer, it was just in my own garage. I have been doing a bunch of upgrade videos and if you guys have been around my channel for the past couple weeks, you've seen two very minor installations. I did a inspection plate holder, sticker holder thing down on the left hand side and I've got highway pegs. But that's not why I was in the garage for two weeks. I'm about to unveil for the first time all of the work that I have done on Chief Slapaho here. So we'll get to the grand unveiling of all the work right after the intro. So here she is guys, Chief Slapaho all decked out. We've got Halo LEDs up front, the new war bonnet in place. I drilled and tapped and drilled the fender. My dad helped me do all this stuff. We worked on it for a good two weeks, waiting for parts to come in. Probably total time spent on the bike was like you know, 10 or 15 hours. I've got the war bonnet on there from the new 2020 Challenger. I was able to get that and hook that into the Chieftain. Got a new windshield on it. Got the OEM Roadmaster windshield, which is much nicer. I think it's not as pointy and weird looking as the Touring windshield. What else we have? We have the highway pegs up front. We also have the custom inspection plate holding the inspection sticker down there. We've got a custom color match trunk, which is full of all of my crap at the moment. The trunk also has another 100 watt audio system to match the front so we have full audio front and rear now for full surround sound and last but not least the new custom saddleman road sofa heated seat and boy is it nice super comfortable oh dear goodness so comfortable you guys are going to be seeing all the installation videos coming up of how to do all the wiring install all this stuff for yourself if you're interested i'm also going to review this saddleman seat once I've got some more miles on it, they told me to give it uh, about 500 to 1,000 miles to really break in before I make a complete judgment on it because it is very stiff. But I will say preliminary results, even though it is a much stiffer seat, uh, you could almost say it's, it's almost hard as a rock when you sit down on it. That's what she said. <laughs> I've only ridden on it this ride today. This is my first ride, so... I've put maybe 20 miles on it and my butt already feels way more comfortable after those 20 miles than even on the stock seat on the Chieftain, which don't get me wrong, that was a comfortable seat, but this is fantastic. Oh, and having the heated seat, I've got, uh, you got two settings, low and high. I've got this thing cranked on high right now. I figured the heat might help it mold to my butt a little bit quicker. But I'm not even worried about that because it is so stinking comfortable. Uh, I could not be happier with this seat. I'm still fine tuning the driver backrest, the rider backrest for myself. Uh, it's not quite where I want it yet, but I'll find a spot for it. I'll find right where I like it in a little while. I just gotta keep riding and then readjusting till I find the right spot. Highway pegs, I put them on in the garage. It's my first time riding with them. I think I'm going to adjust them down a little bit and maybe a little bit closer to me. Um, I test fit these when I had my original seat on here, but now that I have the road sofa seat, uh, it just feels a lot different. So I think I'm going to have to reset those highway pegs. Uh, I should really do a 0-60 to 60 test on this one day. Take it over on the highway, do a 0-60 to 60 and maybe go up to Canada and do a 0-100. to 100. I don't want to put on YouTube and have someone come after me for doing 100 miles an hour. 
and playing it in a YouTube video. I don't know if there are any legal repercussions for that or not, but I should go up to Cano one day and do it once the borders reopen. I also really like this Roadmaster windshield. I have the original windshield that came with the Chieftain, the, the low one. I think that was the 11-inch. And then I have the big touring windshield, which you guys have seen in some of my videos, which is like 21 inches. And it's really tall, and it comes up here almost like a cone. And I think it's kind of too big. Uh, I mean, it protects you from the wind very well. It's nice, but it looks ridiculous. And I actually do care about uh, how my bike looks. So I think the Roadmaster windshield looks better, and it still provides much more protection than the original windshield that came on the Chieftain. The new sound system is also great. Unfortunately, I can't play anything through the speakers and then put it in a video for you guys because the music gets copyrighted and either the video gets taken down, like one of my videos last year, or they demonetize me or something weird. So I can't play any music to let you guys actually hear what the second speaker system sounds like. But it does sound really nice. I had to put the four channel amp in up front, so I had to take the whole front end fairing off, and that was interesting. And then it has a dedicated secondary amp under the trunk in the back, and the trunk speakers are probably twice as loud because of that dedicated amp than the front speakers alone. It's very nice to have that. Now, if you're carrying a passenger, uh, I read someone say online that unless your girlfriend is olive oil, unless she's that skinny, her legs are probably going to block the speakers in the back. So, you know, for me, if I'm carrying somebody, I'm not so much worried about hearing that music out of the rear because I'm going to be talking to them on a Cena. But if I'm riding by myself, that's when I really want to have the tunes going so I can enjoy my ride a little bit more. Because it does get a little boring to me not having someone to talk to or something to listen to while I'm riding. So having those second speakers in the back is more of a personal riding alone on long trips thing that I wanted to put in. I have not done any night riding yet. Uh, I just finished up putting the front fairing on this morning and getting this thing ready to go. So I will probably bring the bike out in the driveway tonight and check the headlight alignment simply because I don't know how well I actually lined up that headlight when I put it in. The driving lights and the headlight do look really cool though with the halos. I love that LED halo. And again, all these installations are going to be in upcoming videos if you guys want to watch them. If you like what I've done to the bike and you want to do it on your own, I'll have step-by-step -step instructions and where I got the parts and all that stuff. But I will also put a link down below to where I got the, uh, the parts that I did for the bike. The seat came from Saddleman, that's easy windshield and trunk came from uh, Indian but the headlights came from Amazon the highway pegs came from Amazon the inspection plate came from Amazon so I'll put links to those down in the descriptions for you guys if you want to find them the front halos are not color changing if you get the ones from Hogworks for like 500 bucks you can get a little app on your phone and change them and make pretty colors and they look cool uh, but Again, for $500, they really better do a lot more for me. These lights, just as bright, just as nice as the Hogworks lights. And they were 100 bucks on Amazon. I could not be happier with that purchase. They turned out really nice. They look great on the bike. And for a fifth of the cost of a Hogworks Halo lamp setup, so I'm going to wrap this video up here. Again, if you guys are interested in seeing what I've installed on the bike and how to install it on your bike, I will have those videos out in the coming weeks. I already have a couple of them up on my channel. I also have a big surprise coming up on the channel, so stay tuned for that. If you guys liked what I did to the bike, leave a comment down below. If you don't like what I did, leave a comment also. I want to hear what you guys think about all the stuff I've done to the Chieftain. But you guys are definitely going to want to stick around for the surprise I have coming up on the channel. So if you're not already a subscriber, click that big red button down there that says subscribe. Click the bell icon next to it. That will give you guys notifications when there are new videos to watch right here on Motoblade. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you guys know what to do. Ride safe. Ride on. I'll catch all of you later. Deuces. Oh, hey, y'all. What's up? Oh, yeah. Now that's the way to end a Motoblade video.